What is up everyone, Pure Chaos X here with another radio controlled car video, only this time it's not Tamiya and it's not my Traxxas, it's about these two guys here, um, which I believe is a Kyosho Optima Mid Custom Special and a Kyosho Optima Mid Normal, um, I think, just from looking at them. Um, I got these from one of my neighbours who has plopped them in my lap and said can I fix them um, at first I thought it was gonna be like hey do you want these and I'm like oh but uh, no and he basically wants them back up and running so I said sure why not I'll do what I can um, so I went basically looking for parts for these things and given how old they are <laughs> I can almost find absolutely nothing Thankfully, the hard to find parts I don't really need is mostly things like electronics, wheels and tires and all that. Um, so those were those should be easily replaceable. Uh, this one, the super special, uh, the custom special still has its body, but I'm going to try and get a, a reproduction body from L and L models for the normal Optima mid. Um, if anyone from uh, LNL Models is watching and you all want to hit me up with that, um, you can. I'm not going to say no or anything. Um, but yeah, so I went looking for some parts and I have found quite a fair few. Um, so I just have to, I, I have bought what I need and I just need them to arrive. They should be arriving today, I think, or possibly tomorrow. Um, so I've got some new wheels, I've got some new tires, I've got some new plastic parts, thankfully. Um, I've got some belt covers from something called Penguin Vintage, whom I've never heard of. Um, basically, everything is from Model Sport, with a few things from eBay. Uh, I've also got some new batteries for them, new servo for one of them, uh, new transmitter, plus receivers for both, that kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah. So, I might also try and replace these uprights the shock towers maybe I don't know um, this one has a brushed system in it um, get it out uh, yeah so that, there's the original body still uh, so it has this brushless system with it um, an Etronics Photon, uh, which I've had to very poorly solder on a Tamiya plug. I, I actually did have a Tamiya plug on its own, which I tried to wire them into, but these wires are too big for the pins, so I couldn't do that. I just had a terribly, not my best job. Uh, these when, these cables, these wires were so thick, I, 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 they were just hard to bloody solder on. It looks a bit messy, um, but yeah, I still have this. This works fine. Um, it runs. I have to have the colors switched a bit like that in order for it to run forward. Um, but it does work. Uh, it just, oddly enough, it feels and sounds slow uh, compared to uh, uh, this old Antsman. Is it Antsman? This old Antsman. 15 turn motor just feels and it just looks and sounds slower so I don't know uh, I, I do need to discover or decide whether or not to put this in it or put that back in it I won't know until I've actually built it put the wheels on look at the wheel speed and whatnot um, body's okay I've got the under tray as well and the spoiler um, so yeah um, all the original shocks feels nice and smooth uh, some parts not in the best conditions like that, but it should be enough to basically get it running again. So, yeah. Okay, let me just check those. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I might get one of these again. This is actually a, ta a, a Tamiya bumper. I can't remember what it's from, but the screw holes lined up perfectly I did have to do a bit of chopping in order to get it to fit but uh, it's a bit scratched and for some strange reason I've put two holes in it um, so I might get another one of these because I've only got one Kyosho bumper but knowing that this fits quite well I might get another Tamiya bumper to go with it instead 
So, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's the, these are the Kyosho Optima mids that I'm going to try and restore. Um, I've bought, like I said, I've bought like 90% of what I need. Just have to wait for that to arrive. Uh, I bought some wheels from eBay. I also need to get some tires from eBay and the body shell for this one from LNL models. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that was the that was kind of like the intro video, just to sort of whet your appetite kind of thing. And then when I'm done, uh, I'll go back to the owner, just across the road. So, yeah, and then figure out whether or not to put this in. It just it just doesn't feel or sound as fast or even as smooth as this. This this feels quite rough. Is this actually nice and smooth? If I have to, I'll get another like a HPI Firebolt. 15 turn. I just don't want to replace the brushless system because this will actually be quite expensive. So, yeah, and like I said, this does look a bit, yeah, it's not not great. But um, see what I can do. But yeah, once the uh, other parts have arrived, um, I'll make a part two, and we'll go on from there. So thank you for watching, and. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, especially if you want to see how this ends up. Uh, hopefully it won't end up bad, and it'll all go swimmingly, and these will both be up and running in the next week or so. Fingers crossed. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in part two when the parts arrive. Uh, most of the parts, anyway. So, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.